Work 2023 and I am with Tom on Boss. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're going to be looking at the new VMP1. Um, you're going to go through all the features of this bad boy. Yep, we have a little rundown of it. Yeah. So this is the VMP1. It's uh, Borsk's first submachine gun. Um, starting at the front here, we've got this quite an aggressive little compensator that takes this big boy suppressor. Big boy suppressor. <laughs> and because of the 360 uh, design on it, it's really easy just to find that, that lock on it. Um, it was bigger at one point, but we trimmed it down a little bit. We really wanted to go big with this. We think it's a real statement for the BMP1. Hard to go home. Hard to go home, exactly. Um, if we just move back of this then, we've got these two rails that can be moved up and down on either side. Obviously, we've got a 20 mm round on the other side and the full 20 mm flat top that includes uh, green fibre sides by the way through. That's very cool actually, because then you don't need a set of back sides. Yep, yep, cool. It's quite like getting down on it is uh, quite tricky, so if you were to put an optic on it, you may have to put a bit of a riser on there. Yeah. Um, but to challenge that as well, we'll, we'll, we'll get onto another part of that as we move down. Yeah. Um, so, 48 round gas magazine. We will be doing CO2 magazines later in the year, um, but at the moment it's just a 48 round gas mag. Um, so, we've got trigger safety, uh, fire selector just above the mag release on either side, so one dot indicates semi. Two dots for full auto. Just mind your finger. Your finger's not that's awesome. it. Cool. Obviously, got our quite unique branding. Um, and many of our customers already notice our styling on the high cap series, uh, but this is just translated across the VMP1. Got hop unit in there. So. Yeah. Nice noises as well. Nice, yeah, it's got all the nice clicks and everything. It's um, it's really, it's a really tight, tight uh, product that we put together here. Um, we go back, we've got a folding stock, um, which is cool. And then later in the year, we're going to be doing uh, a carbine version with a QD stud on the back. Um, probably looking at doing a holster for it as well. So it's going to be, yeah, so it's going to be a really good secondary um, as opposed to just being used as a primary. Uh, also behind that lug. Um, there's a um, little thread for an M4 stock tube, um, so you know, I mean, you can get those staggered stocks, can't you? So if you do indeed want to get one underneath these fibre sites, um, you can certainly put one of them on there. Um, and the final feature, right at the back, is we've got a 15 degree tilt uh, on the butt of the stock, um, which is, you know, as you're doing your transitions in the CQB environment, going around your corners, you don't need to. Uh, pull it away from the hot curve. Um, oh, okay, and if you and say if you're going to put a 45 degree mount for an optic on the side there, you can also do, do a quite yeah, easy yeah. twist. So yeah, this is it. It's going to be launching in April, May this year. Um, and uh, yeah, we're really happy with it. We think it's going to be good product for us. Well, in the UK, we're probably looking at about £200 retail, 200, 220 So that's going to be. Uh, so that will be just this version with one magazine um, and then there will be a deluxe version which will include the suppressor uh, and an extra magazine, so two magazines in total. Um, that's going to be plus 250, 260 around about there. It's very affordable. Yes, well we need to be in these times don't yeah. we? So you know, <laughs> want to keep want to keep airsoft going, want to keep you guys playing. Absolutely. So, yeah, so. Well thank you for taking time to speak with us today. No problem Kelly. It's been a pleasure.